To talk about all of this, we're going to bring in Stefan Bonsell, the CEO of Moderna right now. Stefan, thanks for being with us this morning. Another historic day. 94.5% efficacy for your vaccine. Help us understand what this means. The second vaccine to show such high efficacy for getting us through this pandemic. I think it's great news. We are all excited last week when we heard the good news about the Pfizer vaccine. And I think uh, with the data that we are presenting this morning, it just hope that we should be able to get those vaccines soon into the marketplace to help vaccinate people at high risk to stop the pandemic. Well, you also disclosed some more data at the severe disease. You saw 11 cases of severe COVID-19 in your trial, and there were zero um, among people who got the vaccine. So tell us what that means. I mean, this could really keep people out of the hospital, potentially prevent you know this, this severe disease and even potentially death, although it's probably too early to say that, right? Yes, and I think this is actually the data that excites me the most, Meg. Of course, we are delighted that the vaccine as close to 95% efficacy. But as you said, what we all want is if somebody gets infected, that they don't get severe disease. Uh, and that's the, the great news we had yesterday when the uh, independent NIH-led you know, data safety monitoring board shared with us all those data uh, yesterday early in the afternoon. That was the news that we were most excited about, is if this can hold with a bigger number, I want to re remind everybody, this is the first interim, 95 case, the full study will be complete at 151. So we have to wait a few more days. It's gonna come pretty soon given the quick pace of cases that we are all observing in our studies. So, so we are we are really excited about what this could mean for patients and we're working very closely with Operation Warp Speed to get this in the hands of uh, Americans as soon as of course the FDA has the ability uh, in the coming weeks to review uh, the file under an EUA. One of the other really important things that experts are, are looking at here is the impact on different age groups, people of different backgrounds who have underlying conditions. And you did have some more data there. Um, tell us what the data that you have seen suggests about how well this vaccine works for older people, for example. Yes, and I don't have that data yet, Meg. As you know, those are interim data. Uh, what we have is basically what we put in a press release, as we have done in the past months. We want it to be extremely transparent, so everything that I've learned yesterday, you are seeing this morning. Uh, but I think because of a number of cases at 11 for severe, uh, this was a number that starts to be kind of meaningful. As you might remember, in the FDA guidelines for EUA, they said they wanted to see at least five severe cases, so we're very happy to already be at 11. Uh, so as we get more data, I think around the time we file the EUA in the coming weeks, we will share those uh, description by demographic. And of course, everybody is going to want these vaccines at more than 90% efficacy. There's not going to be enough at the beginning. Tell us about your supply, 20 million doses in the U.S. this year, more next year. What is the pace that we in the U.S. and, P and countries around the world will start to be able to get this vaccine? So you might remember the first agreement that we reached with the U.S. government was for an order of 100 million doses. So we anticipate to be able to ship up to 20 million of those 100 million before the end of the year. So we are making product, as you know, every day and stockpiling it. And assuming we get the green light from the FDA, uh, I would say sometime in December, uh, I'm sure General Perna from Operation Valve Speed will be ready with the trucks to load the product and to distribute it in the US via the CDC guidelines. And then every week we'll be making more and more product. And once the product is approved, basically every time we have a lot that is approved by the quality control unit of Moderna as meeting specification, will be shipped right away. We need that every, every day is gonna matter. Uh, and we anticipate those 100 million doses to be uh, shipped to the US government in the first quarter. Uh, and and that's what is really exciting. So I think with our vaccine and the other vaccine, that's, that's a good hope that we should be able in Q1 to get people at high risk vaccinated in the US if they desire so. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.